The use of data in higher education to deliver competitive advantage and improved experience for students is really, really key and really, really pertinent at present. You know, whether it's around student retention or improved pastoral care, you know, or looking to drive students to improved outcomes, i.e. better degrees, you know, data can help drive that. The marketplace in terms of UK higher education is under extreme pressure. You know, funding, uh, competition from internal, i.e. In other universities in the UK, but also international universities. And also a change in demographics means that they've really got to focus in terms of the service that they're delivering and how they're delivering and who they're delivering it to. From a staff perspective in universities, what the use of data and analytics provides is efficiency. Where we work in Solution Path is actually trying to give uh, higher education institutions foresight, so knowing what's going to happen in the future, so they can actually take actions now to either change what is going to happen in the future or take advantage of what's going to happen in the future. From a student perspective, actually, it's... it's it's important that paying £9,000 a year, you're getting a return on that investment, not just academically, but the whole experience. What our technology and you know, the use of data does, it just allows us to actually enhance that experience in terms of showing them where they are at any particular moment in time on that particular journey. How engaged am I and how will that lead on to a, a degree uh, that I'm looking to aspire to? It came out more by luck than judgment, really. Uh, and it sort of timed in perfectly in terms of the change in the sector from students paying £3,000 a year to £9,000 a year and the corresponding reduction in government funding. So what happened overnight literally was a student went from being a student to being a consumer and retaining the services of that consumer was a really real priority of every university across the UK. The problem that they had is they hadn't actually realised this at a particular time. So what we did is we built an engine that allowed universities to identify which students will leave university if nothing is done, they have a problem, uh, in six to eight weeks' time. And surprisingly, the first time we did this with one of our university pilot customers, we could actually accurately predict 87% of students who will leave in six weeks' time if an intervention wasn't made. We're lucky enough to work with some of the, you know, the most progressive universities in the UK and helping them you know, recognise the fact that data can give them competitive advantage has been not only good for their business but also great for our business as well. So Nottingham Trent University, uh, for example, you know, hadn't got a problem as far as they were concerned. They lost 4% of their students annually, which actually sounds, sounds very low and is very low in the percentage terms in UK academia. But in reality, 4% uh, was 1,056 students, which if you do the maths on the new £9,000 a year course funding uh, methodology, it could mean up to £40 million walking out of their business on a three-year course cycle. So those are the problems that we were able to focus on and help them solve. So think about that in the wider context. You know, if we can refine that model, which we have done, we're now predicting over 90% of students are going to leave in 8 to 12 weeks' time. What that effectively gives the university is an opportunity to go and identify what the problem is that student has. So we don't know what that is, but we just know there is a problem. And then change by working with that student to give them the support they need, whether it be you know, financial, they're homesick, it might be mental health, yeah, anything basically. Uh, getting to that problem early before it actually manifests itself into something bigger is both great pastorally, you know, it's, it's a duty of care of a university to provide the services that they're being paid to do, not just in terms of teaching, but also in terms of you know, caring for their clients. And also, uh, outside of that, you know, £9,000 a year, if a student leaves in year one, the first quarter, that's effectively you know, £27,000 that's walked out of their business. And it's very, very hard to, to then refill that spot once the, the course has started. You know, selling a second-hand degree course is very, very hard. But if we could improve retention by 10%, you know, we do the maths and you know, a 4%, uh, a £4 million improvement in terms of their revenue stream staying on, on premise is, 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 is quite a big return on investment. The university clients that are using Stream uh, see more value in the, the engagement dashboard actually than the retention piece because it allows the, the tutors to be a lot more efficient in terms of not only how they're delivering the service but when and to whom they're delivering the service because it's giving uh, them the ability to actually you know, focus totally on you know, that instant that the student needs support, they're there. They can see a single view of the student in terms of you know, where they are on their journey. I, typically we see them under-engaged or disengaging uh, and then make an intervention based on that. And then also, it's great having these linear representations, they can see if that's made a difference by the linearity of the student on the dashboard actually changes to a more positive outcome.